here at Kane University where the Cougars have done and captured the 2015 NJAC Baseball Championship. Joining me now is Al Tormino, Charlie Thielman, and head coach Neil Iavera with his soon-to-be Cougar someday. Which I'll, first of all, Sal, I heard you say it's trying to get one of these t-shirts for a while and I finally got my hands on one. So what's it mean? I mean, you guys have had success in the national level. What's it mean to be the NJAC champions? I know it's going to go up on that fence and be a memory for the rest of your life. Absolutely. Personally, for me, this is one of my goals coming into the season. I mean, the freshman year, we were able to get to a World Series last year. We felt a little bit short, but I never won the NJAC. So personally, this is a great feeling. So many great pitchers have taken the ball on this field in so many big spots, and it's no secret that they gave the ball to Charlie today. Just talk about the confidence I guess the players have. Oh, everybody on this team knows when Charlie goes on the mound, we have a little game. There's no secret about that. And I think a lot of other teams know that too. He's one of the best pitchers in the country, if not either. So we have a lot of confidence in him. We're going to ride him forward. What's it like when you wake up and you know you're pitching, it could be a championship pitch? You know, nobody on your side wants to go to that second game and you're looking to, to get it over with. And, Balls in your hand. What's that feeling like that morning? I mean, honestly, it was, I've been waiting for this since Tuesday after I got done with my last start. I knew we were going to get here. I knew it was going to come to the time. And I mean, just knowing that you're the guy, you got to go out there and get it done. It's just the best feeling in the world. And we told everybody. Everybody was coming up. Everybody was saying, "All right, we're just one game today, one game, and we did the job. It was one game and done." We did the job. You know, you're one of the few people probably in this ballpark that knows what it feel, feels like to pitch big games. But I mean, he worked out of trouble a lot of times. They get, got their hits, give him some credit, and that's a heck of a lineup that you faced today. But just talk about your confidence in him today, Charlie, having the ball. I mean, what people don't realize is when it comes to pitching, a lot of it's routine and getting yourself in the flow and things like that. And, you know, for him, he's been going on a week's rest for most of the year. So these last two starts have been on a shorter rest for him. So to be able to go, you know, bounce back and go complete games, which is what we're going to need. We try not to push anything like this too early because we want to use these spots for the, you know, regionals and, and hopefully the next step after that, that's when we can start pushing. But just to be able to have the composure in a you know, game of this magnitude, he's been in very, very big spots, so you know he's not going to be, uh, the stage isn't going to be too big for him. And that lineup, they make you work. I mean, they just get pitch counts up, they foul balls off. you got to give credit to them. They, when you play them, you know you're going to battle. It's not going to be easy. Um, you're not comfortable with any lead. We had a tough game for them last week, and you know, we had the right guy in the right spot on the mound for them this time. How special is it to win with your family? I mean, yesterday we had Sharon Fluger win our cross again, and to see her kids grow up through the years being part of her program, I know that's a goal of yours. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago on a Saturday, we didn't have such a nice day, and I, we had a senior day, and I was planning on doing something like this with them, and I had to wait a couple of weeks, and you know, we, we had to get back to basics and grinding things out and finding out who we are, and you know, this is what I want them to know is all the work and time that gets put in. It's for situations like this. So to have the kids here, they're not maybe you know old enough to experience this yet, but the pictures that we'll have and the memories that will hopefully will last for uh, a lifetime. Speaking of memory, you guys aren't done, I'm sure. You have a week to prepare for wherever you're going in the NCAAs, and then you have yourselves ready to play wherever they send you. Um, just talk about what this week will be like in terms of preparation going forward. Um, well, we got two out of conference games coming up that we want to win. And then, uh, so just take it one game at a time. We'll get there, we'll see what we got. We'll deal with it the same way we do with this one game at a time. And, uh, I think playing in a tournament like this helps you with the NCAA. So when you face the lineups, they can you face the Personally, I think NJAC baseball is top three, if not top in the country. Whatever teams they run out, literally everybody just beats up on each other. And I think that's big because going into regionals, Everybody's good, and honestly, everybody we play in the NJ is good. So, I mean, this is just a great start, being able to play in these tight games and really get those tight games, because that's what it's going to come down to the region. We got it done today on their home field in front of their home fans, the 2015 NJAC baseball champions, the Kane University Cougars. Congratulations. Thank you.